Good morning, and a very, very warm welcome uh, from me and the whole AWS team uh, to the very, very first AWS Summit here in Chicago. So what I wanted to talk about today was just to introduce five trends. If we have these million active customers every single month, across every workload, across every industry and company sizes, I thought I'd pull out some of the trends that we see when we're working with these guys and where they're making investments to pull the maximum benefits down from the cloud. So let's get started. The first trend that we see is that companies are using the cloud to move more quickly than ever before. That real world workloads come in all shapes and sizes. But if you have the wrong platform underneath it, you're always trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. The truth is what you want to be able to do if you want to move quickly is to be able to match workload requirements to resources as quickly as possible. We make the analytical instruments that scientists use in the lab and the chemistry and the software that scientists in every field use to analyze chemistry and biology. We needed to provide massive amounts of storage and compute. And we looked at trying to build our own cloud. Very quickly, we said, oh, no, this is not our core competency to run massive cloud infrastructure. And so that's why we turned to AWS. We were able to get the cloud infrastructure up and re ready in a record amount of time at a much lower cost than we could do it ourselves. I want to move on to our second trend, which is that customers are able to use the cloud to, main to establish and maintain a laser-like focus on their core competencies. The challenge of relational databases is they're really expensive. And they're very, very difficult to administer if you want to deliver them at scale. You want to deliver them in a highly, environment, a highly scalable way. They're very challenging to build out and add more data to over time. And it's very, very difficult to switch. In fact, people often jest that uh, you, know, you are basically dating your programming language, but you're married to your database vendor. Instacart was founded three years ago to provide same-day delivery from the local grocery stores you already use and love. And when I say same-day, I mean, in as fast as 12 minutes. It's pretty impressive. Why Amazon Web Services in the first place? Well, turns out managing a production database is really, really hard. It's incredibly difficult. We use Postgres. Postgres is amazing, but Postgres does not come out of the box configured production ready. This is a hard problem for a small, fledgling startup engineering team to solve. So in November of 2013, when Amazon announced Postgres RDS, we turned right to it and tried it out. Out of the box, it comes configured for streaming replication, backups, resizing, production monitoring, alerting, reporting, security. All of these are really hard problems for a startup to solve. And Amazon provided an API to provide us with this production solution. It was amazing. Another trend that we're seeing is that customers are building more and more apps without servers. So I wanted to show you a quick example from a company called AdRoll. AdRoll are a uh, advertising targeting company. Uh, they've experienced fantastic growth. So they use um, Kinesis and DynamoDB and AWS Lambda to continually replicate their environment from DynamoDB across the different AWS regions. So that when you're requesting, when a customer in Singapore requests uh, an ad, then they get the lowest latency experience. So they're able to take those 600,000 files a day and they process it directly with AWS Lambda and they push it into their machine learning and their analytics teams and uh, all the other pieces of downstream information, downstream teams that need access to that information. Customers are taking a deep focus and a deep investment in not just meeting, but improving security and compliance in the cloud. My name's Eric Geiger. I'm the managing director of IT operations for the Federal Home Loan Bank. And we're not a startup. Today, we're a $70 billion wholesale bank. For us, we actually did the same thing we did with the rest of our controls. We took all of our security controls and we mapped them back to the available services that Amazon had. It looked like Amazon, in fact, was going to be reliable and it was going to be secure and that we'd be okay to move forward with real production workloads. AlertLogic is a security as a service provider, currently with more than 3,300 business customers subscribing to our suite of SaaS security products. So I'm very excited to announce today AlertLogic's newest product. It's called Cloud Insight. And it's re it remains true to the core principles of our business, which is to provide deep security insight, intelligent remediation, and continuous protection to AWS customers. But on the cloud, customers are able to put data to work more efficiently than ever before. And so we were very happy a couple of weeks ago to be able to bring Spark as a first-class citizen onto the Amazon Elastic MapReduce platform. 
This allows you to take advantage of all those performance enhancements of Spark, of the programming model of Spark to gain better agility when you're working with your data. And so in March, we announced the Amazon Machine Learning Service. And this is a service which allows you to quickly, easily create machine learning models without having to know anything about the algorithms, without having to know anything about the, how you implement that at scale. We have built directly into the AWS Web Management Console a set of visualization and optimization tools, which allows you, again, without any prior knowledge and with some very simple uh, interactive controls, to be able to go in, dive into your data, and fine tune your models without having to know all about how to do that at the algorithmic level. So there really hasn't been a better time to build. There's never been a better time to build your business. There's never been a better time to build your application. And that's what I wish for all of you today, uh, that you're able to go build, and you're able to take some time today to dive deep into these services and know a little bit more. And with that, I'd like to thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.